So, hello everyone. Today I would like to start a filament video, and this will be relating to regular PLA, which is this, versus silk PLA, which is this. Now, I know all of you are going to notice right away the finish difference. This is blue, just regular blue PLA, and this is silk PLA. Okay, so these are both the same, as you can hear in the name, these are both the same, based on the same plastic, which is PLA, or polylactic acid is in fact derived from corn, and this is why I prefer to use it over ABS or PETG. It is compostable. Now just to be clear, this is not biodegradable in the sense that you can put it in your compost or it'll compost. Um, this is not in fact true as Stefan from CNC Kitchen pointed out on one of his videos. But this is a very, but it is indeed compostable in an industrial facility. So, apart from these finish differences, the silk PLA and regular PLA are very different in terms of mechanical properties. Here you can see, as I showed you, the regular PLA. Regular PLA is better for general use as it is a stronger filament. This silk PLA it is a lot more fragile, and in fact, I have had it where the pla where the filament itself has shattered within, not shattered, but broken apart within my Bowden tube. So I'll, let me do the same thing with this regular blue PLA. I'm going to first flex it slowly, and you notice it behaves just like the other filament. However, if I'll be fine, but if you you can still shatter it in some places. But if you look, I along the length, I I can do the exact same thing, and it won't break, like the other filament. I don't know why this is, but it's entirely possible that moisture collects in certain areas, so it'll break like that. But there's a fair amount of elasticity, whereas the silk filament, as you saw will just break if you do it quickly enough. It doesn't want to break anymore, but it's still, you know, just not as strong. The point's been illustrated. Now, this is great. Silk filament, now the reason why this is, is because silk filament has something called elastomers. These are more elastic, these are chemicals that are more elastic and causes this finish of shininess, like luster. It's very, it's, it's really nice for just pieces that want to look good, but structurally you want to use PLA as I mentioned in the beginning. And this is just, it just goes to show that the elastomer is what weakens the whole thing up. And if you, if you look at the inside, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are two different colored parts of this filament. Um, the core is a different color than the top. Now, in my Benchy I showed on my other video, you could see the bottom had a very different appearance. Apart from that, Silk filament is really a nice filament and it works, it prints very similarly to PLA. The difference is I like to use a hotter nozzle temperature with silk filament in order to make the layers melt together more, which helps and also increase the extrusion multiplier or flow rate, whatever you use and that will also help it'll squish the layers together and you know melt them somewhat together you know it'll be soft 
but with self-filament you want to, again it's very limited in ter terms of what you use for because I mean that's structural property is important to realize though because when you're getting a self filament I make these and I sell this on Etsy but I use a larger diameter I mean larger wall thickness here like in terms of thickness of this it's wider but you can still see it's pretty rigid but it still flexes whereas this is just what whereas this basically has the same amount of rigidity at the top or very similar rigidity it's just a little bit more flexible I think due to the way it's aged so now it's conclusion time which means we will be doing a comparison in this case so here is our silk benchy what is noticeable is the distinct pattern of the infill on this side so you can see that it's zigzag um, also it should be noted that both filaments had some sort of issue with this overhang on the silk PLA it had look kind of, on the regular PLA it had some issue like right here whereas the silk filament had some issues with the top of these arches as well as stringing like it's pretty obvious but both had some amount of stringing but the silk filament had more stringing overall the blue filament now it's time for the blue filament which had which had some issues but here it printed very well this overhang on the back it didn't print as well it also should be noted that this right here it did not print that well compared to this model compared to the silk model where you can obviously see that right here it's fine it's pretty obvious though on the back the difference or at least subtle you can see the these two are the exact same scale so if I put them next to each other they should be they're the exact same size but this like just like with all the other overhangs this exhaust port or hole had some overhang some overhang issues where some of the filament just you know drooped a little the filament I'm using here is Flashforge PLA, so it may just be the brand in my, or my settings that I'm using to compare these two that causes this droopiness. But I do think there might be some under extrusion issues because I can see that there's some areas that appear lighter, like right over here, like almost reflective. There's also an issue here where you can see that there's clearly like a hole in the bow of the boat. Overall, these benches printed quite well for what well, I think. However, the bottom, both of these had an issue. Like at 220 degrees Celsius, these both had an issue with the text not coming out. In fact, it fused together here for some of it. This concludes, this brings our video to a close. I hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.